Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing a ton of shopping lately. I don't know what it is, but as soon as I started organizing my vanity, I have so much more room. So it's kind of made me want to go like a little bit crazy and buy things just because I have like the perfect place to put them. So I have a whole box. This is a Sephora box and I have a whole box full of goodies that I've recently bought. So this is from like five different places. I have a ton of stuff in here, but I will let you know where they're from, of course. So yeah, let's just dive in. So the first thing, I made an order from Sigma Beauty Online, and I absolutely love Sigma brushes. They're all I use for my eye brushes, and then for my face, I use things like Real Techniques. But from Sigma, I bought the E30, which is just, I'm not gonna like do close-ups or anything, because this video is probably already gonna be long. But I got the E30, and that's a pencil brush. Then I bought the E15, which is a flat definer brush. I bought this one so I can go right up close to my lower lash line. I bought a E38, E38, which is a diffuse crease brush. And then I bought another E40 just to blend out all the colors on my lid. So that's Sigma. So moving on to... What I bought locally, um, I wonder how I can explain this. Basically, when you're military, they have like a BX, which is like, it's like a Target basically, but sometimes, like depending on where you're at, they carry higher brands than others. So the one here locally, they carry NARS and like Bare Minerals, Smashbox, Too Faced, and things like that. So I went there a couple of days ago and I bought like a bunch of stuff and I wasn't even planning on buying makeup. But the first thing I bought is this Bare Minerals Kissing Booth Lip Glosses. Anyways, there's a pack of six right there. And I love Moxie glosses. They are just so minty and I don't know, I really like them. They're not buxom glosses, but they are a close second to me. And it has a whole bunch, it has two natural shades, two purple shades, which I'm really interested in trying. And then one hot pink and one really glittery shade. So I only paid $15 for this and I thought that was a steal because I love me some lip glosses and they will go perfect in my moody drawers. The next item I bought, I'm actually wearing it right now and it is Too Faced Melted Fig Liquid Lipstick. I have been wanting this for so long and then when I saw that they had it, I was like, no hesitation, I bought it right away. It is the prettiest, oh my hand's gonna be crazy. But I love the formula of these guys, and that's it right there. So it's like a dusty focus. It's like a dusty purple rose color. I don't know, but it's really pretty, and I think it's pretty wearable. I'm wearing it right now with a brown lip liner, and it just made this combo, so I was down for it. Um, I love these. I need to get my hands on Melted Chihuahua like ASAP. Melted Chihuahua. Woo! Okay, the next thing I bought is this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And then it has the pump. This is a replacement because I recently ran out of the one that I use every day. So I just bought another one of these. The hair product that I bought is this Garnier Fructis Marvelous Oil Deep Nourish 5 Action Hair Elixir for dry damaged hair. I was thinking that I can use this like before I go to bed at night, just put it on my ends. And I sleep with my hair in like a loose braid anyways. So I thought this would just like really help it out. And then in the morning, of course, I would just rinse it out. But yeah, I will let you guys know if I like these because I definitely need something because my hair is so, so dry. Okay, moving on. I bought two Z palettes recently because I made a Makeup Geek purchase. If you look on my Instagram, you've seen, you saw that I ordered like 15 Makeup Geek shadows. They need to get here already, I'm so excited. But I bought a medium Z palette and then I bought a large Z palette. And the large one, I already filled up with um, two of my pan refills. But I bought two Z palettes, they got here in like six days. It's pretty amazing, like, I love me some Z palettes and I actually talked my friend into getting a Z palette too and then buying refills because I just don't like buying palettes anymore. I feel like buying refills and a Z palette is so much easier. Okay, 
that's I don't know why I started talking about that but another drugstore item I bought is this Maybelline brow drama in soft brown so I bought this eye gel thinking it would be like gimme brow from benefit so I really hope it is since I have dyed my hair brown, I feel like my eyebrows are a little bit too ashy blonde. So I just wanted something to warm them up a little bit. I am wearing a brown powder in my brows right now, but I thought this would just be easier. So we'll try this. So I think that's all for the drugstore. I probably have a few little bit more down there. So I've had this for probably about like a week and a half but I thought I would just throw it in here because I did buy it from Sephora recently and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I talked about this a lot on my January favorites so I'm not going to go into too much, too much depth with it here but it is just a contour palette with six different shades and I love it. I think it's highly worth the money and yeah I talk about it more on my favorites so if you want to hear more go check that out. The next thing I bought is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation and I bought mine in the shade Fair Sand and that says Fair Skin with Yellow Undertones. So I did crack this open when I first got it. It looks like this. Lots of people love this foundation but I put it, I applied it when I first got it and I felt like it was super thick. Like super, yeah super thick. I feel like the Estee Lauder wear is runny compared to this which it is runny but this is like a cream foundation like that's how thick it is so I'm not sure if I just didn't use like the right brush or a beauty blender I don't remember what I used but I wasn't in love with it so we'll see how this goes I'll probably keep trying it and then I might return it I don't know if I love it okay so speaking of Estee Lauder Devil Wear I bought another bottle because the one I have now is almost out and I wear shade 1 and 2 Ecru. So this is the only foundation I've been wearing since I started my YouTube channel. Basically, I love it. Everyone talks about it for a reason. It is wonderful. I do apply it only with a beauty blender though. I can't apply this foundation with a brush because I feel like it dries too fast and then it's streaky no matter if I use a kabuki or a regular brush. So I apply this with a beauty blender and it is flawless. Okay, so I also placed an order with MAC Cosmetics, and I picked up a little bit of things from them. My first item is this powder blush refill, and this is in the shade Cantaloupe. I heard Amanda Ensing and Casey Holmes talk a ton about this shade, like last summer, so I needed to get it in my life. It is one of the pro longwear shades, but it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is so creamy too. So that's it right here. Look how pigmented that is. So I have a feeling I am going to love this because I'm all about orange blushes. They are just, they're my favorite. So with this refill, I can also put it in my Z palette and woo, that would have been bad. So yeah, I can just put it in my Z palette and I'm really excited to use this. I'm, yeah, I'm stoked actually. The next item I bought is something that I also really, really wanted for a long time, and I have the two other shades, and it is Becca Moonstone. So I like opal, but I am not in love with it, and then I have rose gold too, and I never use that one. But this is Moonstone. Look how stunningly perfect that is. So this is a cheek highlighter, or an all-over face highlighter, and it's just the prettiest champagne pale white gold. I swatched it right here, but you guys aren't going to be able to see it. But it is beautiful on. It makes you look like like a fairy princess or something. It is it's stunning and you need this especially if you're really fair and have a hard time finding highlighters that work for you. Moonstone will be your bestie like yes. The next item is an Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Taupe. Every time I run out of one of these, I always buy another one like the next day so I never have to worry about being without one. It's the best brow product I have ever tried. I think it's the best brow product in the market. So I just needed another one. Okay, back to MAC. I bought two more replacements and it is my NW15 and NC20 Pro Longwear Concealer. 
I use the NC20 for any blemishes that I have around my face. These are the best when they're brand new because honestly they get a little bit messy as you use them. So yeah, they're beautiful when they're brand new. And then I bought NW15 to use underneath my eyes and to highlight and it's just a more pinkier based concealer. These are awesome if you haven't tried the Prolonger concealers and you're really looking for something and they're worth the money. They are, I think they're 20 something dollars. But they're fantastic concealers, like nothing can be seen through these guys. Okay, so I picked up two lipsticks from MAC, and the first one I haven't even opened because she's been so precious to me. Kind of a big deal. And it is MAC Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. Mm, look how cute it is, you guys. This is the first time I've ever opened it. But yeah, you can see her signature on it and then the shade... Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even want to swatch it because my hands are kind of dirty. Ugh, okay, we'll do it. Oh my goodness. There it is right there. <laughs> so awkward. But it's just a really amplified hot pink shade it's really glossy and this in the summer or this with a tan if you're more like medium skin toned oh my gosh yeah it's gonna be it's beautiful and i don't ever want to use it because it's just so stunning i didn't buy the lip glass that came with it even though now i regret it so i think i'm gonna go online and order the lip glass because i need it too and i've never tried a mac lip gloss it feels so weird calling it lip glass but that's honestly what they're called um, so yeah, I need mean that. And then the next lipstick I bought from MAC is MAC Velvet Teddy. Everyone has been talking about this shade for the past couple of months. And it is just a really peachy brown nude color. There it is right there. I will swatch this one because I already did. And it is so pretty. That's it right here. Yeah, perfect. So I'm really excited to try this one, like especially with like Rambutan Bite Beauty Fruit Lip Gloss or whatever and like Max Strip Down. It's gonna be like Nude Heaven. Nude Heaven? That's a new thing. Nude Heaven, I guess. Okay, so the next is two drugstore lip liners and it is the Exaggerate Rimmel London and I bought 045 Epic and 046 Ultimate. I didn't realize they were right next to each other. But these are my favorite drugstore liners. They have, they have a pointy tip so you can really find your lip line or like overdraw your lips or anything like that. And Epic is just a really pretty brown color. I, oh no, this isn't the right one. What is this one? Okay, yeah, this is Epic. And it's just like the perfect nude, like you can, Taylor, you need to work on your swatches. There it is right there. <laughs> it's horrible. So I imagine pairing this with the Velvet Teddy is going to be like stunning. And then the next one, I'm wearing it today, and it is called Ultimate. Now, I am wearing this one and MAC, um, I mean, Too Faced Fig. So there's Ultimate right there. It's just like a deep chestnut lip liner and I didn't have a brown lip liner so yes moving on only like a few more things I feel like I'm really breezing through products but it says that I've been recording for 17 minutes so that's not good so I bought two covergirl jumbo gloss balm pens pencils but I heard makeup by Tiffany D really talk about this one called ballerina pink and I have never tried these. I'm actually not a big, like, CoverGirl fan. But she was talking to them, and she's never steered me wrong before. Ugh. So here it is right here. And you can't even see it. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. But legit, guys, I just, I'm putting it all over right here, and you can't even see it. Maybe you can see it. It's just really faint. So, yeah, that's kind of disappointing already. And then the next one I got is the shade Cotton Candy Twist. 
and this says it's new so we'll see hopefully i picked i tried to pick like a darker mauve shade <laughs> i'm gonna knock over the camera one of these days oh this packaging is atrocious okay so this one is cotton candy twist it says sheer color soft shine maybe that's what i should have been expecting okay so let's try this one how see i can see this one a little better so that's it right here it's just a soft peachy nude color so we'll see how i like these hmm all my colors look really like summer, like I'm ready for summer. And then I bought three Bare Minerals Single Shadows. I have never seen these before and these were in my local like BX, which is like the Target thing I was talking about. And I've never seen them before, but I googled them on and I read Sephora's reviews when I was there. And they had a lot of great reviews and they're only $11 each which I think is pretty dang good considering you can get like an infallible eyeshadow for like six dollars um okay the first shade I got is called Queen Phyllis now this is just like a really pretty all over I imagine it's like a really faint these are gonna be so messy I can already tell it's like a really faint champagne color but it had a lot of good reviews and a lot of like great like shiny pigmentation right there so I'm thinking like all over the lid this is gonna be gorgeous maybe with like a little like deep brown or orange in the crease yes so that is Queen Phyllis, and then you can see it on my finger, if it'll focus. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you guys can see the pigmentation there. It was horrible on my arm, but yeah, there you go. Okay, so the next one I bought is called Queen Tiffany. I'm really going to have to see what all these names mean, because I have no idea what they mean. Okay, so this one is Queen Tiffany. This guy right here. So it's just a really pretty, like, taupe purple shade. It kind of reminds me of Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow and Solstice. Okay, the last shadow I bought is called Bare Skin. This is, like, the only reason I hate loose eyeshadows is because like you can never win with them <laughs> it's always like a lose-lose situation no matter what you're trying to do I can't even get this guy out of the thing it's just a really pretty champagne pink color okay I cut off but now I'm back but like I was saying I think all those bare minerals loose eyeshadows are gonna look beautiful all over the lid like do whatever you want in the crease and outer corner and then just that those three shadows like on your lid is going to be incredible. I'm so excited to use tutorials and to use tutorials to do tutorials with them. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all. So if you guys are wondering about the look I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing all Morphe eyeshadows on my lid. And then I already told you guys what I'm doing on my lips, but there should be a tutorial up or going up. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, the tutorial or this video. But just, it'll be going up whenever, or you've already seen it. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But um, that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.